Thanks a lot, John. Yeah. Um, yeah, listen, I mean, I think this was a really good game uh, from both teams and uh, we knew what we had uh, coming into this game. We knew that, uh, yeah, we were uh, playing against a team that's of, of some acumen, some caliber and some difference makers in, in their squad and, and playing at this stadium. You know, teams are notoriously uh, struggling here, and I thought we did not struggle tonight. I thought we we were played really well for many mo moments of the game, and you know we managed the game till half time, and unfortunately we conceded just after half time. Um, uh, but credit to the boys, you know they stick together, they fight together. We had to change a few things, um, bring on some subs, and and we changed the momentum of the game. You know there were certain certain instances in the first half and even the second half where you know things that we cannot control in in terms of momentum you know just start changing the game just somewhat and unfortunately you know then we're up against it somewhat but credit to the guys man they showed so much character and, and really happy for that and i think this was a tie game all day long um in my opinion so yeah we learn from these good moments we, we learn from the the negative moments of which you know there's not too many unfortunately the scoreboard doesn't give us any credit um but we have to live with that and we have to we have to go on with that and uh, yeah take it for what it is um and we you have to turn around quickly because wednesday comes fast Thanks, Coach. We'll kick it off to Santiago, then head over to Tom Timmerman. Bradley, good evening. Uh, speaking of the substitutions, Anthony Marcanig uh, had his first minutes with, with the club, also had an assist. Uh, what did you see from him tonight? Yeah, obviously when we get to pose certain moments of the game and, and certain tactical, you know, yeah, movements and, and rotations and what have you, we just thought we needed to get a little bit more um, flowing on the on the left hand side, we knew, you know, we brought two centre backs extra on this trip, knowing that Joachim couldn't go the ninety minutes. But the way the game progressed, you know, I, I thought of just moving Kyle um, inside and and get a more attacking minded outside back. And I thought Anthony did pretty well. Just unfortunate, I think the ball hits him in his nose first. Uh, he got a bloody nose, and then it hits him probably the trailing hand. But you know, I, I think it's whatever. Uh, you know, uh, I think there were certain moments that we can solve the puzzle to get to that situation where we don't have to give away the foul top of our box. So, you know, I think we could have solved it, you know, a little bit higher up the field. But yeah, good things from Anthony. You know, great to get Klaus back in the game. You can get 60 plus minutes. So, you know, looking at the positives, you know, you could just see when we start tightening the screws and yeah, we start now pushing teams and, and you know, turning over the ball and you could see momentum uh, at certain moments changing in our favor. So, you know, I thought we showed a lot of heart, a lot of character tonight. Next we go to Tom. Yeah, Brad, is that one of those cases? I mean, you, you know, Akil makes that cross in the first half and, and Nico doesn't get his foot on it. And that's one of those, if that goes in, it's a different game. But like, the offense had trouble generating good chances in the first half otherwise. We knew this was going to be a tight game, Tom. So, and sometimes you're going to play on the road. So, you know, we say, yeah, 6 3 wasn't, you know, we'd like to be a little bit tighter at the back. So then we tighter at the back, then we're talking about no chances created. So we know have, we have to pick our poison. Playing on the road, we have to know what we're coming up against and we have to know that chances are gonna be limited here in the stadium. It cannot just flick a, flick a coin, you know, and be like, yeah, there's no chances today, but we're conceding three goals. So, you know, that wasn't the case today and I thought the game was a lot tighter. I thought our defensive structure was a lot more intact um, and I saw a lot of good things. So, you know, the moments we do get now, you know, can we be a little bit more clinical with those moments? And uh, yeah, I think we get 10 shots off on the night, um, you know, which uh, which is pretty much, you know, yeah, a, a decent a chunk. Next we'll go to Justin. I was gonna ask you, how is Nico? Yeah, Nico took a, a knock on his shoulder a couple of days in training and uh, I don't know if it's the same shoulder, I haven't checked with the medical team yet. So we just have to monitor his shoulder. Next we'll go to Justin. Hey coach, obviously it's a short appearance for John Klaus. I think he had seven touches in this match, but how'd you feel that he did in his first minutes, you know, backs in such a long absence? Yes, I mean, for sure there's going to be a bit of rust, but you could just see the hold up play, you could see the movement, you could see that, you know, he, he commands a lot of respect from the other opposition centre back. So, you know, I mean, yeah, I told Klaus before this game that these games or these minutes that he will get, hopefully tonight, uh, to use them like like Edu did coming back from, from his injury, like Joachim did, you know, when we were playing with City too. So he, we've used that, 
those minutes wisely and, and obviously those were constructed exactly amount you know of minutes to go um, and they were chasing a game you could see we, we, we make a couple of substitutions and and all of a sudden now we look very threatening we like very commanding we hit the post uh, you know we have a couple of moments there to sway the game in our favor or get back in the game so um, like I said we take the good with some of the growing moments and uh, we put them forward to Wednesday we're back to Tom uh, what went into the decision on playing a keel in the midfield? He's a holding midfielder. Well, he's been playing right back fairly consistently lately. Sure. Yeah, he's been doing a good job there and uh, with jobs and uh, the way that, you know, the form that Indy's in, the, the form that Edu's in. So, yeah, so many good things. Uh, so many good things from a keel in the six. So, a keel's an all-rounder, you know. Uh, the, the options, we, we had a couple, you know. A drop AZ as a six and bringing Thomas Ostrak. You know, there's a few guys that we could have brought in the six. We just changed the structure towards the end of something that, you know, the boys were familiar with, uh, with, with Edu and Indy as the sixes and, and now bring on weapons up the field. And Nukfi looks dangerous. You know, he can hold up the play. So it's just another added weapon. Um, but yeah, again, there's, there's, there's spaces to be had and, and positions to be uh, filled and occupied and, and players to play in those positions. In real time, did you think that uh, Mark Hannick had gotten to that ball before it got to the end line? Yeah, 100%. Tom, we'll still go with you. If you got any more. Uh, yeah, and congratulations to Tim Parker, I suppose we should say, uh, on this evening. Yeah, sure. Rory is safe and sound and healthy. So it's great news for us as, uh, you know, a group that we, you know, value people and, and uh, you know, yeah, we just value each other. So, you know, we wish uh, the Parker family well. We got time for one more if, if anyone has it. Nope. All right, Coach, thank you for joining us. We appreciate your time. Thank you. Good night. Thanks, Brad. See you.